In the last videos, we created the state, the actions, the reducers, and the effects for the state management of our register page. In this video, we will make our register page interact with the register state, meaning we will implement the registration flow. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to follow the development of this real app using the Ionic framework. So, let's think about the register page. What's going to happen is that the user will input its information and click on the register button. We already worked on the form validation and on the state management. The only thing missing here is to get all those values from the form, call the register action and treat the multiple states the register page can be on, which are registering, so we show a loading component, registered, so we hide the loading component and send the user to the home page, and the failed registration, so we hide the loading component and show the error message. Let's implement this with TDD. I'll go to the register.page.spec.ts file and create a new test called given form is valid. When user clicks on register, then register. First, I'll create the page, then I'll set the form values, then I'll click on the register button, and finally, I'll expect that the user is registering. In order to create the page, I just need to tell the fixture to detect the changes. We already have some code that fills the form, so what I will do is to transform this code into a function in order to be able to reuse it. And now I'll just call this function here. We also already have the code to click on the register button, which is being repeated in two tests. Let me transform this into a function also and make the necessary calls to it. Now I need to check the store and verify the loading state. Here we will need some configuration. I'll create a new property on our test called store of the type store app state. Then I need to configure the store. So I'll import the store module for root with an empty array. Now I'll also import the store module for the feature loading with the loading reducer. And finally, I'll import the store module for the feature register with the register reducer. And finally, I'll instantiate that store using testpad. Okay, now we are ready to continue. I'll go back to the test and tell the store to select the register state. I'll subscribe to it so I have access to the register state. And now I'll expect that the state has the isRegistering property equal to true. I'll save this, open a new command line and tell npm to run the tests. Those tests will fail. And I guess you can notice I made the code bigger so you can see it better. All right, to make this test pass, I need to call the register action so the register state changes to the registering state. And let's go to the register page to do it. On the register function, instead of redirecting the user to the home page, I'll need to call the register action. I'll need for this access to the store. Now I'll tell the store to dispatch the register action. This register action receives as a parameter the user register, so I'll tell it that the user register will receive the register forms form value. After I save this, our test will pass. So we had two errors that was unexpected, and it's because I'm expecting it's registered, but it should be it's registering. After I save this, our test will pass. But now the test that verifies we are sending the user to the home page is failing. As our code evolved, now this test doesn't make sense anymore, so I'll just remove it. After I save this, everything will pass. But notice that also this test became wrong. I'm expecting that the user is not navigating to the home page, but I should now verify that the user is not registering. So I'll just copy and paste this code and just expect that the user is not registering. And now I can also remove the spy. After I save this, our test will pass. Alright, now I'll copy and paste this test we just made and I'll change its name to show loading. So I'm basically testing the loading component is being shown. Now I'll subscribe to the loading state and expect that the show property is equal to true. After I save this, our test will fail. It fails because we are not showing the loading component, so let's implement this. I'll create a new private function called watchRegisterState. 
Then I'll get the store and select the register state. I'll subscribe to it so I get access to the register state. And now I'll create a new private function called toggle loading, which receives as parameter the state of the type register state. If the state is registering, then I'll tell the store to dispatch the show loading action. Now I need to call this function on the watch register state. And finally, I need to call the watch register state function on the ng on init. After I save this, our test will pass. Alright, so let's implement the register success case. Let's imagine that the user is now registering. The flow that will happen is the register action gets called, then on the register effect the register service gets called, then it responds with success and then the register success action gets called. What the page should do is to hide the loading component and then send the user to the home page. So let's implement this. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to follow the development of the real app using the Ionic framework. So I'll go back to my tests and I'll create a new test called it should hide the loading component when registration is successful. To make this test we don't actually need to interact with the form and click on the register button. I just need to change the state according to what I need. So I'll tell the store to dispatch the register action. It needs a user register as parameter, so I'll just instantiate a new user register. Alright, so we are in the register state. Now I'll tell the store to dispatch the register success state, so now we are telling the page that the registration was successful. Let's also not forget to initialize the page by telling the fixture to detect the changes. And finally I'll get the store and select the loading state. I'll subscribe to it to get access to the loading state and expect that the loading state has the show property equal to false. After I save this, our test will fail. It fails because we are never hiding the loading component, so on the toggle loading function I'll tell that, in case the user is not registering, I'll tell the store to dispatch the hide action. After I save this, our test will pass. Alright, also on the registration success, we need to send the user to the home page. So I'll copy and paste this test and change its title to should go to home page when registration successful. The first part keeps being the same, but I actually should expect the router navigate function to have been called with an array containing the string home. For this to work, I need to spy on the router navigate function. After I save this, our test will fail. So now let's program this to pass. Here I'm observing the state, so I can verify on the register state if it is registered. In case it is, then I'll tell the router to navigate to the home page. After I save this, our test will pass. Alright, now let's test the error case. The flow that will happen is, the register action gets called, then on the register effect the register service gets called. Then it responds with an error, and then the register fail action gets called. What the page should do is to hide the loading component and show the error message. So let's make a test for hiding the loading component. I'll copy and paste the last test and change the title to should hide loading component when registration fails. Instead of calling the register success action, I need to call the register fail action. It receives as parameter an error, so I will just create an error object. After I save this, our test will pass as we already implemented this. So let's take a look. If it's not registering, then we hide the loading component. Ok, now let's make a new test to show the error message. I'll copy and paste the success case and change its title to should show error on registration fail. Here I'll need to create a new property on our test called ToastController of the type ToastController. Now I'll instantiate that ToastController using Testpad. And now I'll expect the ToastController create function to have been called. For this to work, I need to spy on the ToastController create function. After I save this, our test will fail. So now let's make it pass. We can just check if the state has an error and in case it does, then we'll show the toast, so I need access to the toast controller. 
Now I'll get the toast controller and call the create function. I'll pass an object as parameter with the message as the state error message, the duration of 5 seconds, and the title of the toast as registration not done. Then, when the toast is created, I'll tell it to present itself. After I save this, our test will actually fail. It fails just because the create function should return a promise, but I didn't do that on the spy, so I need to tell the spy that it will return as value a promise that will resolve with an object that has the present function. As we have a casting error here, I'll just solve this using any. After I save this, our test will pass. Oops, another mistake, it didn't pass because I'm calling the register success action, so let me copy and paste this, and after I save it, our test will pass. And let me change this title here also. Alright, now let's test this on screen. I'll test first the error case, so let me quickly fill all the fields and set as email the error email. And let me also open the Redux tab. So I'll click on the register button, the register action will be called, the loading component shows up, the register service is called, it answers with an error, the register fail action is called, the loading component disappears, and then we show the error message for 5 seconds. Alright, pretty cool. Now let's test the success case. I'll change the error email to any email and click on the register button. The register action will be called, the loading component shows up, the register service is called, it answers with success, the register success action is called, the loading component disappears and we try to send the user to the home page, but it doesn't work and we go to the login page. Well, it didn't work because of the off guard we created some videos ago and it's showing on the top of your screen. We did the user registration, but we didn't log in the user after this registration, so the user was taken to the login page. In the next video, we are going to change our code, so after the registration, we do the login, and after this login, we send the user to the home page from the register page. Well, actually, you can try to do it yourself by cloning the code on the public GitHub repository. This for sure will be a good exercise for you. After you're done, tell me in the comments your difficulties and what you managed to do. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to follow the development of this real app using the Ionic framework and see you on the next video.